Master Race and Other Stories by Bernard Kriegstein or Kriegstein. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's a Stein by any other name. Yes. This is the. It's a Stein by any other name. Very, very funny. It's very a very funny. important comic, very important comic artist. And uh, we're going to talk about this. My name is Franz Cantor. And, and my name is Jim Bridges. And who are you again? Uh, I'm the president of the Australian Cartoon Museum here in downtown Docklands, Huzzah. Melbourne, Australia, at the Australian Cartoon Museum. Yeah. And who are you? Uh, I'm just a, I'm just Joe Mudd. I'm just a lonely boy. I'll yeah. be back. We'll be back in a sec. Yeah, with the Master Race. That's it. Every one of you watching this screen, look out. Anything can happen in the next half hour. What did I tell you about cartoons? They've got a lot of brains, and they've got a lot of chutzpah. Tell me how comic books make you feel, Dave. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me sure. This is, uh, this is quite an important thing. How, I'll, I'll just, um, I want to hear your story about where you first discovered this artist and how it sort of uh, came about that we're coming here and talking about him now. But I basically um, saw it reproduced in another comic. And it was a sort of a, like a, 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 what do you call it, a study. Yeah, of uh, yeah. history of EC Comics, but and but also of panels and a, a comic of a, a narrative, comic craft narrative, uh, to, you know, uh, narrative storytelling. Well, in, I, in I between saw, that and uh, like reading, like first of all, reading comic, you you become yeah. aware about its comic craft. Um, I, I never actually read the comic in my lifetime. I just kept on seeing. Panels of it reproduced in books on comics, the history yeah. of comics, or the whole page, and how it was so influential, blah, blah, blah. I didn't get to read it till about, uh, probably about 10 years ago. And I've read it just recently because you purchased this book. Right. And it's a bloody good book. It's a great book. Yeah. And it's, it's, uh, it's not, and it's not like, one. it's not like Jack Kirby where it just jumps well, off the page and belts you over the head. It's, there's a lot of subtlety in his, in his storytelling. Well, this and is... FB, the EC Library. Yeah. <laughs> and who who is. who did the who, who did the um the publishing? Well, there you are. Look, at this. Look at this. This is straight away Strinko. You know, it's um, written by Al Felstein, Carl Wessler, Johnny Craig, Otto Binder, Jack Olek, and Ray Bradbury. Now they're well, all big did, names. They're all big names. In, well, he did in, some of the other stories in this. Yes. So it's a it's basically um, a, a tome uh, dedicated to Bernard Krigstein's artwork yes. Um, yes. in the comic field, and it's called the Master Race because that's the sort of the well, that's what an, they call it the, um, the 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 Citizen Kane of comics. Ah. And we'll talk about that. That's as an interesting on. phrase. This is the number of stories in yeah. the book. And so the, there the, he is. Mr. Kritz Krigstein, Bernard Krigstein, um, front of his oil painting, still life with palette, which I guess that blurry thing there. It's a very interesting fellow. Well, I mean, you know, um, boy, we're, did he understand we're not gonna, comics? We're not going to. Yeah, he did. He 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 really understood comics, mm. and um, not. But his storytelling abilities are remarkable, and. Even if, even if you pride yourself on understanding how um, stories are told, yeah, you'd be surprised how you surprise yourself reading this. Yeah, you just see stuff. I mean, these are in colour, obviously. Yeah. When they well, these came these out. are black and white versions, and but originally they came. Thank they God for that, because you see, you concentrate on the art and the line work. Well, the artist only ever sees it in black and white. Yes. So yeah. all of the rendering, all of the the fine brushwork, the yeah. um, you know the the. The, um, and the half tones and there are so many are problems. Created there are so many problems in getting and old comics and getting the color right. Mm. It's just you know, no, you, you never satisfy anybody. Even if they recolor the whole thing beautifully, very rarely do do you get unanimous. Um, you know, this is a very can... popular idea. Ditko used to use these um, heads. disembodied heads, yeah. these floating heads. 
um, you know, they're, they're very, um, very nightmarish. It's, I don't know whether this is, uh, probably has a, a film corresponding um, oh, yeah. thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, like 40s. Yeah. You know. The Snake Pit, I'm thinking, maybe. Or well, that's, that's 60s, isn't it? The Snake Pit. That's about men, men, uh, mental going, illness. Yeah. Um, Olivia de Havilland. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know. It's a very surreal concept of disembodied yeah. heads. But this is this is teeth. Yeah. Not just and there's a gut like it's, inside it's, the mouth, you know. Yeah, it's very um, Kirby-ish teeth, it's like <laughs> a broken pottery. Yeah. So th this is a story set in ancient China of all mm. places, and it's about a bloke who invents a, a flying machine, mm. and he 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 gets dragged before the emperor, and the emperor ends up killing him because. Yeah. He's worried about the future and what this is going to come, so he just gets him killed. Yeah. And you don't expect this to happen because yeah. it's a great idea. He's invented this and China's going to take over the world with this bloody invention, but no. But so it's kind of a... knock him off, you know? Yeah, so the stories in EC Comics were very, like film noir, they're, they're, yeah. you know, the end... But they're very short stories. Here are usually... They're, they're very short stories with a yeah. twist in the end. Yes, know? they're short stories. Yeah. Now, it's important to know that these are short stories, and what we're going to present eventually with uh, the, the, uh, Master the Master Race is a bit longer, and um, that's the first time that they stretch the... the um, the, the page limit um, for him yes. for that yes. particular story yes. because they, they were just blown out by it. Yeah. It was just high art in a lowbrow uh, vehicle such, such as an EC comic. And it's about, I think it's one of the first comics about the um, uh, uh, about the Holocaust, wasn't it? Uh, no, there there are other stories uh, about the Holocaust, but it's, it's usually... No, but in a comic, in a comic. Yeah, this, this was a very powerful... Um, very powerful one. No, it, it was treated in comics. We heard about it in, in, in also EC Comics did it as well. Yeah, uh, I remember there's some stories in Charlton. Ah, um, uh, well, Charlton, Charlton's after EC, isn't it? We're talking yeah. 50s here. Mm, okay. This is 50s. Yep. Could be right. So this is uh, the monster from the fourth dimension, and it's about a farmer. Mm. He just walks out one day and sees something a bit funny, and he sees this. He's hanging. got a beautiful he sense sees his, of contrast. He sees this hanging from a tree, so what do you do? You shoot it, you know? Yeah. And of course, it doesn't die, and um, uh, all the scientists all turn up to find out what's going on about this thing. And <laughs> Look at all this. It's, this is, wouldn't happen in a comic today. And then they, they go out and shoot it again. Oh, yeah. it's just just a just a really unusual story, and I mean the drawing of the of, of, of the, the alien is just a blob, mm. you know. But he handled it very well. Yeah, I, I like all this um, stuff. Mm. Anyway, do, are we going to rush to the? Yeah, we'll, 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 I don't want to sort of skip through it too much because I've never seen these, so I, I just want to well, enjoy I'll, each one of these. You bought so. the book and you gave it to me straight away, so mm. and I. Um, Let's not jump to the master race just okay, yet. Okay, I'll put my finger in there. Yeah. So I love these uh, expressions. You'd, sometimes you fall in love with expressions like Ditko's um, horror masterpieces yeah. in Charlton. Yeah. Really scary uh, faces and expressions. Um, you know, haunted my nightmares um, for many see, years. The, 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 I mean, these guys are in space, but the, mm. it's true science fiction. It's sort of like in... in well, in, it's all based on, on human experience, isn't it? Suffering, yeah. loneliness, But, but hunger, they're, on, they're on Antarctica, uh, yeah. environments and all, all sorts of stuff, which is not the usual place Well, for it's comics. a success of uh, Shakespeare. It's based on uh, human, exper human experiences, but, you know, dramatised in royalty and fantasy and things like that. So it's the same thing. This is this, this is just the human the human condition. Yeah. You know. This is a typical short story about a bloke who um, who's bored out of his brain and he does little, but then they get this client. Which but he yeah. starts to rip off. He becomes very wealthy. Okay. So EC yeah. Comics had yeah. a lot of this uh, uh, domination of of Print, words. Yeah. And just, and just the turn the page are back. Pushed, just turn the page. Back. Pushed into the corner. And just, and you and have look, a look at this, at the, and then you turn the page. Exactly. Bang. This this you, you hit, you're hit with words. Yeah, well, that's the normal way that yeah. comics were presented in EC Comics. Yeah, this was totally new. This this takes guts, um, you know, and uh, kudos to him for, for uh, pushing that forward because it actually raised this comic book medium 
out of uh, uh, out of mediocrity, because it was uh, it was getting towards an area of um, just replicating the pictures were replicating the words, which is not what graphic novels are supposed to do. Well, that's right. Um, as we saw in, in 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 the previous book we did on you don't Sapiens. double up. Yeah. So this is a lovely one too. This is beautiful uh, caricatures of this uh, Chinese um, opium mm. um, addict, and uh, just reveries, you know, going through. I think this is in uh, in London, so uh, Chinatown in London or something. I don't know. Anyway, um, we well, look at this panel. Look, look at some of these. See these lines that go to eternity. Yeah. And he's just sitting there. It's, it's just very symbolic. Double yeah, it's a, dub, it's a double, it's yeah. a dream within a dream. Yeah. So as he comes out of the reveries of the past, he's yeah. still, you know, there's still remnants of the dream. In, but also in, the, in the, the, the writers dominated the comics. Yeah. The writers dominated the comics until people like like him and Jack Davis and all those other people came along and bang. Yeah. Their drawings were just extraordinary, you know. Yeah. Wally Wood, those guys. But his illustration chops started to come yeah. through. You know, and the way well, that he was an illustrator. He, he, yeah. he always wanted to get into comics, but he was an illustrator. And he's look at these vignettes. These yeah. are sort of uh, no, you yeah. know borderless uh, uh, artwork, well, borderless brain, uh, panels. Yeah. He he, he doesn't have is, to show the carnage. No, but even when he does the carnage, it's sort of uh, you know it's tortured. It's really yeah. you know extraordinary. Um, yeah. Uh, um, drawing, really incredible drawing. Yeah. Pioneer. This is getting again. This is very Alex Toffish, isn't it? Well, early Alex Toff. They're all. Well, he was copying everybody else. He started when he Alex, was fourteen. Yeah. Well, Alex Toff used to do. He had a problem with this as well. He had. Yeah. There's too many words. Uh, yeah. You know the illustrations were Look there. Look at this guy. He looks like he's being there's crushed by the words, thought. doesn't he? He looks like he's yeah. being crushed by the words. You know? So you really need more room in a comic to breathe. Pictures have to work. Um, you know, in concept, not be murdered by the uh, this, by the words look at this. Look, Yeah. Look at the line. And, yeah. And then. You know. Yeah. So you know, using it's a simple, graphics. It's a simple line. Graphic design. It's a very simple line, isn't it? And uh, having just having the um, <laughs> Dr. Caligari Krigstein. Um, so he's referencing a lot of yeah. uh, magical um, yeah. cinema. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, those expressions are very loose for a guy. I mean, he's well, such that's a great it. illustrator. He's loose, but he, he got loose. away with it. He's loose when he has to be. Yeah, yeah. but he got away with it being loose. But the, the most important thing um, I find in a comic is a sense of space, like using using the space wisely to, to tell the story. Yeah, you know, blacks and whites, and uh, and when not to not to have all these little ants on a page which I find really annoying that's the thing that turned me off EC Comics because of the words the number of words are just uh, you know it's just overpowering but also you see we're looking at the black and white work and yeah when they came out in color a lot of oh, this, they did a help lot, a the lot, color did help yeah but but not always in, in a lot of cases things just disappeared yeah, it, for, for instance that for instance there's a lot of detail in that because he, he, yeah. he Piranha there's fish. piranha in there, you know, and so it's just. Yeah. So, but if that's in colour, unless it's light, you're going to miss detail. And yeah. A lot, a lot of the colour was, you know, just sort of um, drowned out the, the line work. But you, you get this a lot too. The the sort of the distance between the um, the viewer and yeah. the and the characters. You know, they're they're sort of like you're eavesdropping on this scene and yeah. they're well, well she, she's she, she's they're in, unaware of she's you. in the front and now she's in the back yeah you know it's it, it's cinematic mm. this is about a couple yeah who, there is a lot of who, cinematic who, who, who are killing each other yeah like, even they these, hate each other you know one shot yeah. broken down into two dialogue boxes and yeah. put a gutter in the middle but it's essentially one shot. And he actually, this is this is we're going to talk about. This that is later a sequential on. aspect yeah. that you could actually extend time. You play yes. with time in yeah. comics, which is uh, quite extraordinary. Now he started to use this. Yeah, he, w he wasn't the first bloke, but he did it the best. Yeah, he wasn't the first, but he did it the best. He's one of the first. He's yeah, he, one yeah. Of the first. he's one of the first, but he wasn't the first exactly yeah. who did it. But you know, the interesting thing too, um, these are vertical panels, yeah. um, and we obviously in a comic you read left to right, top to bottom. Yeah. 
but uh, because they're vertical, they have a different context. Well, they slow you down, the timing of it, you know. Um, yeah, well, look, he, the, he, he, just to make a point of that, yeah. slowing the time down, look at the yeah. clocks. Yes, yes. You know, that yeah. punches it forward that you're taking, this is how much time has yeah. gone past while you're reading these panels. Yeah. This is a great story. It's about a couple who are trying to kill each other. Yeah. And in the end, they end up killing each other. It's sort of not the way they expected. Yeah. So this is like, this is an interesting, like, hardly any detail in that drawing at all, really, compared to the other stuff. But mm. it's the first picture you see, and then bang, it, 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 it draws you in, and then it gets more complicated, you know? Well, the, the beauty about Crickstein is he doesn't have, um, uh, like, a usual way of, of looking, of depicting things of scenes mm. so sometimes he'll well, he'll I show mean, them uh, you know in a cinematic context yeah. sometimes in a graphic design but context. you get this you get this so impression there's a lot of variety he's doing that. these drawings for the first time yeah you know what i mean which is and he's trying out things all the well, time that, that looks almost like, like a study for a drawing of a man you know lying yeah, on the floor yeah yeah and it, look um, at that one a lot of work gone into that <laughs> But, you know, I mean, he must... Uh, it's, these are enjoyable. Um, yeah. Make no mistake. The design of the rocket ship, the, the work of... Uh, I love that shot. ...using these, um, you know, these half-tone patterns yeah. to show depth, yeah. contrast. And to go into the circle, you know, that's a great... That's a great, really powerful thing, you know. And he'll, he'll, he'll break it up into variety. This is just, uh, you know, just a very quick render yeah. over here. So we have the same picture again. Yeah. And is there fr 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 shatterish feeling about that? Yeah. As well? Ah, this is a famous picture about these uh, blokes who knock off something. He does. Uh, he does running people really well. Yeah. So people, you know, on some sort of a, a, a predestined doom, yeah. running to their doom. Hurry up! And uh, and crop shots. These crop shots here. You know, it's, I saw it's this very, page. It's got a very I saw, cool. Way I saw of, this page in about five books before I ever saw the comic because they were using. Um, they're talking. referring to it, yeah. yeah. Because yeah. he's breaking the mold. Yeah. See, so he doesn't. You can't. You can't push him into a mold. That's why EC let him get away with this because he was he was actually teaching the other artists. That's right. That's, other, that's exactly you right. Know, yeah. Use your brains. Yeah. That's what they're for. And uh, people, of course, uh, Steranko and, would have referred to, well, yes. to Krigstein, you know. But, you know, he's got some lovely, look at this, it's just using that, uh, the beautiful bende or the, the yeah. half-tone um, pattern. He stabs it, does With he a stab side light, yeah. yeah. He stabs it, yeah. They're still clear, but again, it's, an, you know, a lot of the shots, a lot of the angles, does a lot of this, you know, the, the yes. sequential run. Yes. Um, He's running out of time, actually. Yeah. And, and then he, look. And the then end, the goes into black. Yeah. Fade to black. This yeah. is him literally fading to black. Black panel. It yeah. fades to black. So he's telling you, this is like a film. Before we get there. Very interesting. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I thought some angles. of this is mechanical, like having the door, but, but I mean, it, it works. Yeah. And then he goes like this, and then he does that. All these things help the narrative. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, and, with I, a I comic mean, that's all here, talking heads, you yeah. need variety e to even, break it up. Even that little bit of gap yeah. there, you know, I yeah. mean... Well, you got to break it up. There's yeah. a hell of a lot of dialogue there. Yeah, that's right. And, of course, this <laughs> is about <laughs> keys. Haunted by keys. Yeah, and he, he, the key master. He, he loses. He, he drops the key. He, it, In a bunch of keys. Yeah, and they all fall, and he can't find it. Yeah, mm. and so he ends up, you know, going, going nuts. Going crazy. Like, yeah. That's with the underlighting. Yeah. Okay, so here it is, Master Race. It starts out. There's basically, a, 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 you know, a, a man that gets on a. He's got a secret, and he gets on a uh, on a train. In the subway. In the subway, and it looks like a you know a, a, a typical um, pedestrian who done it or something like you know we're not quite sure what's going to happen, but we know something sinister is going to happen. Yeah, th this is interesting because this is tight, and in a film that uh, if that was in a film, it'd be, it'd be much bigger. But yeah. Already it's tight, and and he's going down, 
um, going, you know, meeting other people, and then here's here, here's here's something coming along as mm. a train, mm. and then bang, you get a shot like that. And that's, yeah, that's him that's standing there looking at the at the window as the train goes yeah. past, and of course, bang, you've never seen that before. And I mean, this is Marcel Duchamp <laughs> in comics, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> this is how. Okay, so he's he thinks he's he's presenting this like a film. Yes, and. These are devices which he himself has created yeah, that, so, that may work so, in a comic. Yeah, so have. here he is, and these are all the people inside the, tra- the yeah, train going strobing. past. Yes. Well, not strobing. Ex- yes, yeah, strobing. I'll, I'll accept that. Yeah, strobing. And then it stops. And then it stops. And he gets in. And then he gets in. And then and he's thinking. You know, of, even it, his uh, poses. I saw this actually, the EC comic, which is quite big, the, the reprint of it. Uh, not the actual comic, but the reprint of it. Um, these drawings are, are very, very large on the on the page, mm. and you can really appreciate how lovely and loose they are. And yet, he he always does these sort of sockets, these eye sockets, and make the, the characters <coughs> look extremely, um, uh, you know, tired and gaunt and mm. uh, and about to have a, a nightmare. Yeah, he's sort of sitting there look thinking at this about guy. his past, and look at that image. Suddenly, I mean, you know, that's like Max Shrek. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then, uh oh, you know, look at him. Yeah, look at the side, like the, you know, and the underlighting as well, like yeah, you know, choke. And he's looking know, at this. Who is he? You know, and he wants to. And know. the irony of this is that he's the the guy. The guy is a uh, ex uh, death camp uh, commandant. Yes. Which we learn as we as we go through it, right? He reminisces this because he's seen this guy, and he recognizes the uh, the Jew rather than the Jew recognizing him. So all of this is paranoia. This reverie, this back yes. this flashback, yeah. is created because he's recognized the guilt from yeah. you know the persecuting of uh, this is one of his victims. And of course, like it even has the German here, you know. Yeah. You know. And that, that's beautifully done. Mm. It's very simply done, but beautifully, you know. Well, it's the, it's the, uh, the, rise, the, 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 yeah. the rise of propaganda and how it ended up yeah. in this, uh, you know, the heat of the moment and, the, yeah. and the, the rage of Hitler and things like that. But look at Hitler. It's like, you know, it's so distorted. It's almost unrecognisable with hate. And look at the brutes, the, uh, yeah. the Kirby-esque um, monsters that, uh, you know, are are going to be, you know, Kristallnacht or something. Yeah. And this is them beating up the uh, innocent people. Yeah. All the Jews and the and the churches. And the culture. Smashing the, and the churches, culture. culture and the rallies. Course, and look at this. And this is the death... I mean, that's a... The death camps. I mean, that's based on a painting. Uh, sorry, a photo. Mm. But he's cropped it even more. Mm. You know what I mean? And made but look it at even, their eyes. And made it even tighter. You it's know? got that same hollow, yeah, yeah. you know, horror yeah. in their eyes, and yeah. the 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 uh, comparison between that the victim and the perpetrator is is really really strong. And this is a great shot because the train's moving on. There's the train moving on. Yeah. The guy's not looking at him, but he's looking at the guy, and then he's thinking all this sort of stuff at the same time. And that, yeah. in that panel, it's just beautifully done. See, he's you know? thinking it, not the guy. He no. hasn't recognised him at all. Yeah. But he has recognised this face. He's yes. recognised him. Out of all the thousands and thousands of people yeah. that he's murdered, he's yeah. recognised Be- one person. Because you see, look. So he's been see, there's the connection. connection. See the cheeks. Yeah. You know. He may not even know this guy, but he knows that... that but look, this yeah. was in the 50s, so yeah. this is when, you know, all of this stuff came out, that yeah. the, you know, the death camps were uh, within uh, close proximity to, um, you know, um, yeah. cities. Yeah, and so this is, um, they're all the shoes they kept, Yeah. and like, they're, they're filling up, they're, they're burying them, and there's the hand yeah. just sticking up above there. And look, see, they've got... They've got children, yep. women, and men all yep. getting killed yep. in one go, in one panel, you know? Yep. Yeah. And this it, maniacal face here is one of, is, is of the victim. Yeah. One so day I'll get you, you. You may not you may think, well, that's a monster. But what what he's saying is it's just really, really shocking determination of uh, of revenge. And I think that's what's probably um, yeah. uh, made it made him recognise it. And then finally, like, you go back to them actually in one panel. Yeah. 
And look how he reveals. Yeah. He's scared, right? Yeah. And he looks scared. Yeah. He says, you, Reisman, it's you. No, no, got in Himmel. So it was like his worst nightmares come true. Yeah. Uh, Reisman. And so he and stands up. A... They're near the door of the train. Yeah. He, he stands up. And yeah. as he stands up, he flees. Yeah. And then he chases him, but he can't chase him very far. So yeah. Reisman's really, really... You know, really scared and rocked and and uh, <laughs> have pity. So, and what's what's he say? This run down the long, empty, deserted station platform, Carl. Run from this personification of the millions of your countrymen who couldn't ride the tide you chose to ride. Okay, so who hang were up, caught in its undertow? All right, okay, I got it now. I'm caught up. <laughs> so he's he got it now, folks. We're not sure. Up until this point, yeah, who Reisman yeah. is, we know that. What is he? A guard? Is he? A, maybe he's he's one of the um, traders who turned them in, or something, yeah. or pushed bodies into ovens, or whatever. We don't know, right? Until here, we finally realise that it's fate. This is the uh, the hand of fate, the fickle finger of fate, finally caught up yeah, with Reisman. He says, Run as you ran from Belsen. Yeah, you know. So run as you ran across Europe. Yeah. yeah. So the, this panel here is of the death pits. Yeah. Um, and this, look at this, is a, 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 a the camp that you commanded. So there's like, um, uh, that's the punchline at the yeah, end he, of he the story. He was the head that's, guy. He's the head guy. Yeah, that's the and, climactic. And he's got all the blood running off his hands. Yes. Like, it looks like a propaganda poster. Yeah, which doesn't, he probably never had any blood on his hands, but that's symbolic, isn't mm. it? Mm. You know? Yeah. And then, of course. And then it ends. Him running into the train, yeah, and the slow decline and slow. Well, they, they start with the fall yeah. off the platform, uh, which is cinematic. Yeah, there's, right? his, there, there's the there's the line. It's a there's vertical the foot, movement. There's the foot. Yeah, and then you know. <laughs> yeah, it's it's and all. And you've vertical. already seen the train coming before in the beginning of it, and also you've already seen that as well. And he's now yeah. seeing the reverse because they're all going that direction, whereas yes. before it's all going this direction. Yeah. But the um, it it has he he's put in these cuts and uh, there's there's two cuts the train the train gets uh, closer and closer and closer yeah. and then you have this uh, side on shot yeah. and then the side on shot immediately disappears because of the yeah. nature of the train it's but moving you see, so fast. This, this is the connection how it can connect up to another uh, part of the train but he's about to go under the under, under the, the wheel. wheels and then you see this image yeah. and it's all like he's been chopped up you know what I mean mm. it, that's the Im that's, and then of course you know and this guy turns like he's death you ever seen before no he was a perfect stranger <laughs> so that's the ironic part you well know, you don't like, know you don't he, know if he was yes, a perfect stranger yes. or, 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 if, or if Reisman is actually just thinking he's saying his name but yeah, it could it, be that Reisman, Reisman, uh, Reisman's guilt killed him. Yes, killed him. Yes. Or yeah. you know, fate finally caught up with yes. the monster. Yes. So that's so. There's a, sort of an ambiguous, uh, you know, and like film noir, where the main character ends badly in the end. Yeah. So that's how it, that's you know, that is the Citizen Kane of comics. That's regarded as Citizen Kane of comics because there's so much to think about there, and it leaves you. Um, with a very memorable uh, experience. Where's Rosebud in the comic? Uh, I would say Rosebud is that. Yeah. That face. Yeah. That face. Mm. I would say that's Rosebud. Well, that actually disturbed me, that child. Yeah. Oh, that really spooked me. So, well, I don't know. I mean, when it came out, the I purge. mean, you know, you're a 15, 10 year old kid reading that comic. My God, you know, because he's he's cinematically doing stuff that you're not even aware of. Yeah. And he's really he's really manipulating you incredibly. With, yeah. With, with 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 this technique. Yeah. It's just. So it's I not mean, cinema. It's experimental. It is cinema, it's but it's in a comic, and it's yeah. never been done before. No. So you know. And then. This is totally different, of course. This it's is like the like... first time you've been scared in your life. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, really scared in your life. <laughs> you never forget it. All right, well, let's have a look at this. This is the, uh, you know, him being sort of a medieval costume drama. Um, who's he, that? That's he the didn't witch. draw that. Yeah. That's by someone else. No, I think that was yeah, that. no, he didn't draw that. No, these are his lines here. 
You reckon yeah. I'll grow my cat? The murder, murder dream. dream. It's a, this very um, London. Yeah, but you know. Um, this is nice too, how it connects. See that, that, that line connects? Very Eisner. Yeah, but see how that line connects? Mm. Look at the, the big bend. Yeah, just, just lines. He loves this. Uh, and there's these, there's, there's these floorboards again. Perspective. These floorboards of, of, of eternity. Yeah. And hang on, go back. Look how his feet are connected to the floor. Mm, like trees. Yeah. Yeah. It's a beautiful um, foreshortening and it really has this uh, sense of movement and dynamic. Well, he obviously knows Look at that. He, he, he obviously Look knows at that. anatomy and stuff because he can yeah. pair it down to just lines. Yeah. Like the and amount of lo there's hardly any lines in that drawing at all. Yeah, it's not easy either to, you know, have to, uh, you have to have such a solid knowledge of yeah. uh, of drapery. And look at this, and like the hands fashion. are really big and the head's small and, and the drama of it, you know. He's yeah. just going nuts, you know. He's tortured. Yeah. And all this. Um, so this is going back to the normal uh, narratives. I think the normal narratives of uh, the stories. Which oh, I love this. I, I love this comic trope too. How see these things? Mm. How he sort of. What are they hangover? Well, whatever. I mean, some people use them as um, headaches and all sorts of stuff. Mm. Yeah, <coughs> comic symbols. Yeah. Now they the pit. Yeah, they print. They print that picture a lot in different magazines and books. That's a very unusual. That's a view through the action, um, up at the uh, the crowd. So, yeah. so and the crowd are cockfight. See, the crowd are, are like animals. Look. Yeah. They're animalistic. Yeah. And everybody else is animalistic. Look at this. There's the whole training look at, look at upstairs. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah, I know. straight at you. It's a the pit. So a lot of the stories are based on um, you know greed and, uh, and and what happens at the end. Oh this is a good story too to better. So it's sort of this dark moral. Yeah this is a good story. In the bag. Yeah, yeah. he's carrying the bag and um, what is in the bag? These are vignettes, yeah, like backstories, back, story, back um, flashbacks. A, the bloke who stops him, he's a detective, and he's he's, tra he's tracking down a, a, a serial a killer, killer. Mm. and he thinks that, he thinks that um, the, the, the bloke has cut up the bodies, and he's got the head in the bag. Yeah, you know, that, that's what the whole, the premise is, and he shoots him and all sorts of things. So look, look at this! What a wow! I mean, mm. wow! What a page! Mm. What a page! But the foot. And then it's walking away, and then you know, this is this is great because it's following him, and yet it's it's almost like they're hanging from above his head, but they're following him, you know. Mm. And then the gun—that's an unusual. Um, yeah. And then it finds out that um, there was a bowling ball in the back. <laughs> Just an ordinary guy coming <laughs> back from bowling. Yeah. It's all paranoia. Mm. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. Love the lighting. So again, you know the the, the f fact that you have to contend with all of this dialogue um, really oppressed in, in comics. Yeah, but look look at this. Like very difficult. To he he works in a, he works in a, in a food place. So and this guy's up. got a gun on him, mm. right? And there, there's an oven behind him with the pie in it or something. Mm. And that that's all you see. Yeah. It's, it's really compressed and. Yeah, you know, well, it's, um, a, it's a claustrophobic. It's a claustrophobic. Yes, yes. So, just as the, um, you know, these these are not wide shots, right? They're cropped, yeah. and they're, they're being helped. That feeling of claustrophobia is being helped because of yeah. the fact that he's got to draw all of this inside this confined space. But look at these lines on the face. Everything's they're, confined. Those they're just straight lines. Yeah. And then across the, they, they, they turn panels, at a right two, angle, three, and across four, here, five, six, they're just seven, eight, yeah. nine, ten, eleven, twelve, That's thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, unprecedented. Seventeen panels. Yeah, and of course, the, he knows that's going to be a bit of colour on it. Yeah. Right, just a, a spot of colour over that. Yeah. But these are different reads to Marvel comics. If you Marvel blow that up, if you blow that up and look how he's drawn it, it's just amazing. You think, oh, that's a pretty strange comic, but he's. Um, 
he, no, he loves the sort of uh, angles. Yeah. These, um, these yeah, the angles. But I'm talking angles. about the lines. Now, look at the lines on his forehead. Mm. He's, no one else does stuff like that. Yeah. And, and on the cheeks, you know. Mm. And then this guy's just got a, a great black thing right across there, <laughs> you know. Yeah. And, of course, all this stuff, which is wonderful. Yeah, silhouette. This is lovely. Yeah. That's lovely. And, of course, you know, these sort of drawings look like about what everybody else is drawing at the same time. The heads, they were yeah. sort of popular. I mean, Alex Toster drew heads like that, and all sorts of people did. Yeah. Numbskull. The Vault of Horror. Yeah, I like that. Mau Mau. Who's Mau Mau? That's uh, well, they were the the cult that went around um, killing people in Africa. In the Philippines, in, in, they, no, like... Africa in the oh, okay. in the fifties. <laughs> the the uh, trapper with a patch yeah, of pipe. Yeah, yeah. Leopard skin scarf. Yeah, they're shooting a film. It's um, oh, it's okay. a trope. Yeah, it's, it's a trope. Look, look at this. Mm. So I want black, but I don't want to come right up to the hair because he's got black hair. Strong. It, it well, it's got a good uh, handle. This is uh, you know very powerful um, in black and white. I yes. don't know how this. I guess this will be blue or something like that, or green. Yeah. Color. The mascot. Well, there's a big difference between this and the previous comic, isn't it? I mean, this yeah. is just well, you know, you can get the the, the whole idea of EC uh, Library is that you can get to do. You know, horror stories yeah. in any kind of genre. Yeah. Any. Um, but I'm just scenario. saying the drawing is very different. Yeah. There's hardly any inks in this compared to the previous one. Because he's in Africa and he's showing black natives and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. See, this is straight out of um, the Ernest Hemingway uh, novel. Right. You know, about the, the bloke who falls in love with the nurse. So this is probably, I don't know where this is printed, maybe, it could even be in a romance uh, novel, but... Well, it's Revenge. Revenge. Well, that's not... Is that... That could be in a... In a... I can imagine um, Joe Kubert looking at it, just thinking, hmm, I can do better than that. Why don't we Yeah, go, but, why don't you we know, have, have a look verticals? at Joe Kubert's dinosaurs. <laughs> is that a form of criticism? It is. <laughs> I love Joe Kubert, but I don't like his dinosaurs. Oh, well, who did the best dinosaurs? Oh, of that era? Oh, of any era. I think Frazetta would have done. Oh, what about Stout? Yeah, well, that's a different era. It's the yeah. 70s and yeah. 80s. I mean, he's sort of like the go-to man with dinosaurs. This is one running story, I think, that's got different uh, episodes, I guess. Well, you, you better read it before you say things like that. I don't think it is. I'm not keen on, uh, you know, dogfight stories. Really? Not really. Uh, there is one I, I did like, which was uh, by um, Toph. Oh, yeah, that's a ripper. Yeah. Well, what about um, um, the Red it's Baron nice comics, thing. you know, that the did? Them. They're wonderful. They're them. wonderful. I know, I'm sure. Look, he researched everything, you know, very, very, very beautifully, he's very having, well. He's having fun with that drawing. Yeah, he's having fun. I mean, it just that he did. He couldn't re research dinosaurs because there probably weren't any. <laughs> well, that's not true. Well, there weren't any good pictures of dinosaurs. Oh well, Fantasia. That was ten years before that. Was that? Yeah, yeah ten years at least. Mm. This is uh, very like Terry and the Pirates, isn't it? Yeah. What's his name? Who did Terry and the Pirates? You, I'm you sure know. our readers You will. should know. You, you're smarter than me. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can see um, um, Brick Bradford and all sorts of stuff in this work. Yeah. The, the inking in particular. Yeah. Okay, well, we're getting towards the end. They're all, they, they, they put all the plain... Um, the airplane um, stories at the end. Yeah. And here he is. Look, we're at the end now. Look, he's going through the the doors of perception. Uh, again, with the uh, you know really beautiful. Um, now, what did Harvey have to say about it? shortening. There's no doubt that Krigstein is an intense artist. Certainly, he's. 
the outstanding artist in comic books. He had a feel for graphics second to nobody I can think of in the field. A sensitive, intelligent approach to comic graphics. There's no bad, no doubt about it. And Harvey is the man. No doubt about it. That's Very right. Cool. Um, Kirby-esque. Kirby -esque. Terry and the Pirates was um, Milton McKennett. That's right. And so it's got some great, actually, I've read this, this article. Is, it's very good. Yeah, I haven't read it. I know. It's, re it's reading. That's why I had to read it. I didn't it. read right. Look at that. I love that. The nurse is going to get shot and she's running straight towards you and you know she's going to be shot. Beautiful stuff. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, restoring the slave. This, this is an article how they actually restored the comic ah. from... Um, um, from its pencil? Yeah. Yeah. Right. And they've got all the biographies of that, you know. All the different writers? Yeah. Bill Gaines, the big guy. Albert Feldstein. These are the writers, yeah. Ray Douglas Brad. Did you know that Ray Bradbury's name was Douglas? I bet you didn't know that. Ray Douglas Bradbury. Crime, horror, terror, gore, depravity, disrespect for established authority, and science fiction, too. <laughs> okay. That's the whole thing on the EC. Okay, so, so quite an interesting uh, concept. Yes. Uh, you know, um, that, that's that, a book. Uh, story. That's a book. Very interesting you can story. Read. If you're interested in film. Yeah, but that's a book you can read every 10 years for the rest of your life and find something new in it every time. Well, I, I look forward to look at uh, reading the essays, but the... Yeah. Um, it's subtle. Yeah. It's very subtle and... It's well, what do you think about buying this in black and white instead of colour? Maybe oh, we should I, have shown I, them... Well, I'm a, I'm a black and white man. The problem with the EC colour for the interior colours is they use a lot of primary colours and yes. it was a little bit distracting. And the paper was very absorbent and everything yeah. was... Yeah. So, a lot of... Bleh. A lot more, and, and even some of the writing was hard to read. Well, this is the Master Race. Yes. Um, and other stories illustrated by Bernard Crickstein. This is um, one of the, the, the most um, important books, I think, or imp important artists in comics. Yes. Um, and often referred to literally as the, um, the uh, um, Citizen Kane of comics. Well, that particular story, yeah. So um, if you're interested in comics in its uh, visual narrative yes. um, possibilities... And, and if you've never heard of him before, check him out. Check yeah. him out. I'd say... Um, Breaking the Mold. Yes. Uh, I would say um, probably one of the most cinematic of all artists. Yeah. But at the same time, it's not just... He's not just transposing cinema into comics, mm. he's coming up with something in between yeah, that wasn't very, there before. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, and very economical style as well, I yes. guess. But not the most beautiful uh, penmanship or brushwork in all of the panels. Um, some of them are intentionally very, very loose. Yes. Yeah. But um, kudos to, uh, you know, to Gaines for um, publishing this and seeing it. This actual story, The Master Race, was extended by I think another four pages or something. Yeah, which which was not their policy at all. He no. had to fight for it and finally he won. No, he didn't fight for it. They offered it to him because the... the you he, have he, read the book. Yeah, they offered it to him because... He lies, he lies. No, it's... it's, 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 it's <laughs> Alright. Okay, this is Franz Cantor and... Jim Bridges we'll, saying... We'll catch you next time. We'll meet again. Don't know where, don't know when. Thanks for the sour persimmons, cousin. <laughs>